Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. This is Joey Saldana's 2008 Budweiser Sprint Car. Um, this is the oldest Joey Saldana one I have. Um, I'm looking for one lower, which is the 2007 Open Joist one. Uh, I've seen them in a couple places, but I'm just kind of waiting on that one. Uh, there is a couple other ones uh, of the KKRs that I'm looking for, but um, the hunt is on, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and get on to this one. I didn't put the bring the box out on this one. Um, it's all They're all stacked up, and I really didn't want to mess with them, so it'll just stay where it's at. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. So um, anyway, let's go down our left side here. We've got Budweiser there down on the hood. We've got Sage Fruit, open joist up there. Um, the it, As I said, the 2007 is this, uh, but yellow and black and white instead of red. But they added Budweiser for this season. So we got the number 9 up here. we got Budweiser, Dodge, Mopar. Uh, Mac Tools, we got a whole bunch of, we got the Advanced Auto Parts, Outlaws, Hoosier, Freightliner, Valvoline, you know, all that up there. Um, Team ASA there. Go to the front, we got Mopar, Saldana, Team ASA on the roof, or on the roof, but on the top wing. Um, we also have Budweiser on the tip of there, and Saldana on the front. Um, Team ASA did get moved down here on some of the newer ones. Budweiser here, Mopar there. Uh, we got Sage Fruit, and then on this right side here, we got Open Joist, Budweiser, there's a cover. Uh, there's our headers there, our tailpipe, our pipes. Um, then we got our gas tank, uh, the bars. We got another bracing and brace bar. We got the front shocks here. Go ahead and take a look here. We'll uh, pull some of these off. Um, so there we go. That's the top wing off. Pull the hood off. There we go. We'll take a look inside here. So here's our engine detail. Um, we do have some hoses and wires in there. There you can see the two little hoses going to the radiator. We got uh, another one here. Um, we got pipes on each side. So there's eight total pipes, four on each side. There you can see the steering column right there. You can see that little tie rod that goes through there. And then the wheel does not turn, but that's obviously uh, what would turn it. And um, we got our front and rear shocks there. You know, there's really not a ton to see. You know, sprinters are fairly simple. They're they're a very um, they're a very simple car. They're high, you know, highly highly powerful, but um, they're not a, a complex build like a like a NASCAR where you have just all these wacky you know individual components all over the place. Put that back on, and then when you're putting these on, um, you just usually what I do is I get the front latched in, and then I kind of stretch the back over, and then boom, just like that, it's on. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to these uh, sprint cars. It's an R and R sprint car. Um, unfortunately, they don't make those anymore, and I'm kind of disappointed because I really did like these. Um, I really have started to really like these, and I'm getting every KKR car I can, and um, that's kind of where I'm just sticking with, just because those are the only cars I've consistently kind of followed through Facebook and Twitter and stuff over the years. Um, more recently, I've been following obviously like David Gravel with uh, Jason Johnson Racing. Um, I've only watched most of the of the outlaw races for the last year um so obviously i've known who donnie shots is and he dominated the not nationals but um you know as far as uh wanting to die cast wise i'm, I'm kind of sticking to the saldanas i might get one shots but i gotta pick which one i would want that to be so uh anyway that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for me I'm, i don't have a ton else to show off on this one so um as i said i have one other sprint car to show it's a Darren Pittman and it's kind of unique so um anyway thank you all for watching really appreciate it like comment subscribe all that fun jazz and we'll see you in the next diecast review